the thin crowd inside the B Tikendrajit International Airport in Imphal at mid noon with a dozen or two of Manipur police and CRPF personnel going around with their work gives a very deceptive sense of calm it's only after one steps out of the terminal that you sense the tension in the air about 100 people mostly belonging to Kuki tribe living in and around Imphal Families in tow are sitting outside on bed covers and newspapers waiting to catch the flight out of Manipur. The airport has not seen such an unprecedented crowd. Shaken by the unprecedented ethnic violence that rocked parts of the state on May 3, many of the residents, mostly from the Kuki tribe, are fleeing in fun, albeit temporarily. Though tensions between the tribals and non-tribals have been simmering for a while, violence erupted following a solidarity march called by the All Tribal Students Union of Manipur on May 3 to oppose the demand to grant scheduled tribe status to the non-tribal Meithi community. While the tribal groups including the Kuki and Zomi enjoy ST status in Manipur, the non-tribal Meithis do not. The Kukis, who are dominant in the hill areas, were also opposed to the state government's action since February to evict encroachers cultivating poppy in reserve forest. The action of the state government was seen by the tribal Kuki Zomi groups as targeting them. Clashes between mostly the Metis and Kuki Zomi tribal groups have claimed over 50 lives, though the unofficial death count is said to be 60. curfew has been imposed and internet has been suspended in the violence hit districts including imphal since clashes broke out in the aftermath of the violence the state government along with the security forces has set up relief camps in several districts for kukis and metis who were affected by the violence A majority of the Kukis who have been evacuated and brought to the relief camp are from in and around Imphal Valley where the Metis are in majority. On the other hand, the affected Metis who have been rescued were living in the hill districts which has a tribal majority. I am at hostel number 2 of the Kuman Lampak Sports Complex in Imphal which has been turned into a relief camp. In this relief camp in hostel 2 as you can see people we have been talking to in this uh, relief camp uh, tell us that uh, some of them have been living there in uh, Mori and Churachandpur since their birth and on May 3rd when the violence broke out violent mob entered their villages destroyed the houses and properties after the violence they were evacuated by the army the sam rifles and the district administration they were initially put up at the uh, district administration offices and from there they are now being brought to the relief camp in and around Imphal there are some 400 people who have been put up in this hostel too at the Kuman Lampak sports complex day 3 the day 3 the moi ready sala pung baro bo moi pung baro bo li sala ko di normal lai re na adum khalle adai da koi ma moi dukan phami dukan phama ji da ai ma mana nang ai di ice cream ju Aidi impanis tadi ni imana mori tadi. Ada aje ice cream yang bagi mori da business tu ada sum tau kita mama mui ke lain mina bagi sum laga ice cream yang bagi apa hore. Ada itu mama na. Nang ice cream yang loy dra. Hauji bal really cepat loy kere. Na ada itu aje ice cream yang bagi tu eh. Pung aku makai mari ada itu. Jo kena tarik pasi dah, aje ice cream jual bagi foto, yum dah thamma maga, aje kena awam naik na, ice cream gi thamma maba ni na, aje itu isah je lah, horok atau ni faham pasi dah gi hidang lagi berlak pasi dah. Wari jung hak sana re iman apa iman apa ini am lay bani na dukaan di pol lay na boh na di kanz da muzik tu gay bahana hore tu gay bahor pasi dagi tu gay re tu gay re si di hore en aku je la je je la je na aku je je le je en pasi da muzik matang 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 sana aku jangga jangjal le raga muzik hana 
ตะกี้ชนะลูปาลอยลอกตัวเอ ไล่บกุกีนะเตะตะกยาเสพุขาร์บุขาร์มวยดิฮาราวเรไม่จ้าจ้ากะนมวยกับเซเลนูเอคีเรมาปานดิลักมาเมียนมาดิลักมาเล
there are around 15 villages where the Maiti community settles. And even the temples, the houses, the shop, where the Maiti owns are all burned down. And if a Maiti happen to have a shop, but the owner if, if the owner is a tribal, then they, they, uh, they stole away all the things. Even a piece of paper we are not left over there. How long have you been living there in the village? I was born there in Chortanpur and my father were there. And we were around, we were living in Chortanpur for, for more than 50 years. Okay. So you came with your entire family? Yes, 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 yes. So are you, uh, because you have been, you have lived there your whole life. Mm. So are you planning to go there when things settle down a bit? When are you planning to go back and, you know, no, no, you're a school teacher? Yes. So basically to resume your... No, no, no ma'am, definitely not. Because how will I see my house destroyed with my own eye? I wouldn't be able to see that. And so even if I go, even if we go, even there is an agreement from the government to there won't be that good connection with the community there and so I will, we are really not planning to go back again stay back here. yeah no, we will definitely plan uh, want to stay back here in Infal, in Infal or where the major communities are we have been living in Surachampur for 50, uh, 40 to 50 years now we've been sharing uh, boundaries with them but if I have to tell about the experience that I've been having since my birth we have been treating as a victim there, like as a uh, as a very low minority. Cookies are dominating there. We maitis are a minority there. So we've been treated and the act that they are showing to us is more like a terrorist. Almost all the houses has a gun in the name of tribal. They say tribal hunts animals. So they mostly have guns. And that very day the incident happens, you just support them. They came down, they came down with the gun and start attacking all the houses and burning down. And I would like to put a few points about the, the policemen of Churachampu district. So these policemen, none of them, they are very biased. They only, they, they stand for the tribes only. So they don't care who is right and who is wrong. They know that the mob happens with them, with their people, and their people is attacking Maiti community. So this one, uh, although they know it, they don't stand for us. They don't. Uh, they are still more ready to harm us. And uh, and one more thing, we've been hearing lots of uh, false allegation happening in the social media about this incident. I would like to clarify that. Most of our uh, big, uh, public figures are trying to blame the Métis community, saying that Métis are attacking the uh, cookie uh, community, burning down cookies houses. No, nah. no, not a single house is burned down. Cookies are attacking Métis house. There is no single house anymore in the Churachampa district, except a house which is next to them, which will affect them by burning down. And what do you intend to do now? From here? Now, we can't go back anymore. If we go back, we are still not safe. So, uh, from my side and for my people on behalf of them, I would like to request our Chief Minister, Nbiran Singh, to give us a home here in this safe zone. Not, don't please, don't please send us back to Jura Temple. We're not safe. We don't like to go back anymore. We want to live with our people here in this safe zone. A state government official who did not want to be named told the print that the distrust between the two communities has widened after the recent violence. We also spoke to the DC of East Imphal, who told us that the main priority of the uh, district administration right now is to remove the fierce psychosis from the people's mind and build a trust so that they can go back to their normal lives. While most of the cookies who are in relief camps are preferring to go out of Manipur to neighboring states of Assam, Tripura, Nagaland and Meghalaya, the Métis are staying put in the relief camps in Imphal and are reluctant to return to the hills, the official said. Residents admit that the state has witnessed ethnic conflict in the past too, but the scale has been unprecedented this time. He said that the state has not witnessed violence of this scale in a long time and the mistrust between the tribals and non-tribals has widened and there is a need for the state government to hold a dialogue between the different communities and restore peace. Khuman Thim Diana Devi, East Imphal Deputy Commissioner, told the print that right now the topmost priority of the district administration is to remove the fierce psychosis that has gripped both the communities. Metis and Cookies. She said that they want to build their trust 
provide the medical security and ensure that they return home. This is Moshumi Das Gupta reporting for the print from Imphal along with Suraj Bisht.